Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I made this accordion book. It's super, super simple to make because you don't need any thread or any complicated book bindings. You're literally just folding the paper over and over again until you get the sketchbook. So you're going to need two long pieces of paper, two boards, and these are just thicker. You can't really bend them as well as normal paper. And then you're going to need some kind of cloth Preferably not this one. This was more of a mesh thing that I found um, And I think cloth would be a lot easier to work with especially when you're gluing the cloth down the glue I'm using is Sobo, but you can Probably use or it might be better to use PVA glue um, I heard that glue is the best when it comes to book binding and there's obviously a nicer way to do this but I'm just spreading the glue with my fingers it was really messy and I learned my lesson later when I had glue literally all over my hands. But just put the cloth on top once you've spread the glue onto the board and cut the corners so that you can wrap the fabric around to the other side. It just cleans it up a lot and makes the whole entire thing kind of easier to work with. So this video is in partnership with Skillshare and I'm going to show you guys kind of a speed paint near the end and I'm just going to fill up the sketchbook a little bit. If you guys don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online community basically with creators and there are a lot of classes like 15,000 classes or something and anybody can take a class, anybody can try a project, um, you can even make your own class if you want to earn money as a creator. Um, Skillshare is a really easy platform platform to do that and the premium membership begins around $10 a month but if you want a two month free trial then go to the description box below. I have a link where you can have two months free. I definitely think this subscription is worth it. The classes are really high quality. Yeah, I think I just learn a lot by looking at the classes. So back to the sketchbook, all you have to do is basically fold the paper kind of like zigzag. You're going to end up with two kind of folded things, folded papers, and you can connect them by creating a two inch hinge. So I didn't really do a good job of showing this in the video, but all you have to do is kind of get like an eight, eight and a quarter by two inch strip and connect the two pages together using that strip. It'll act like a door hinge almost and connect those two together. I don't think the paper gets in the way that much. So to connect the folded papers onto the board, you just add a little more glue and basically paste it down onto that board. So again, the sketchbook is really, really easy to make once you have all the components together. It's really quick and I think the long format of the sketchbook provides really unique opportunities for really creative pieces that you can do because of how long the format is. There's an Instagram artist, his name is Rob Sato I believe, and he has really really cool long pieces so I'll leave either a screenshot or a link to his Instagram so you guys can check it out. He's definitely one of the people that I go to for inspiration. So you can do a lot with this long format. I think it's a really unique way to fill up a sketchbook. It's super easy to make once you have all the supplies. So 
the Skillshare class that I took is taught by Leah Gorin. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this class was called Illustration and Inspiration Keeping a Sketchbook, and I really like her style of art, so it was really interesting seeing her thought process and where she gets inspiration, how she keeps her sketchbooks. Um, I also really liked how the sketchbook she was using performed, so I actually bought myself one of her sketchbooks, which I think it's the Kunst, Kunst and Papier? I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it's the Kunst and Papier binder board sketchbook, so maybe I'll do a review on that later on once I receive it in the mail. Inspired by this class, I really focused more on the composition of my drawing more than the actual thing that I was drawing, I guess. I wanted to focus more on the form of it rather than creating like depth and really like getting into the painting and you'll see that this painting is a little more flatter than my other paintings but it still has a really nice effect because of the composition yeah there's not much background art to it it's more just about the fish it's almost like a pattern except it's not because you definitely can't use this as wrapping paper or something um, I really liked exploring the composition and the flatness of the painting I also was playing with the long format of the sketchbook so I kind of stretched this school of fish and flowers onto like a three page spread I think if I were to do this painting all over again I'd actually have this school of fish going across a whole entire sketchbook, which I think would be really, really pretty. So you can do a lot with this sketchbook. There's just a lot of room to work with and a lot of creative things you can do with it. So yeah, um, check out my Instagram for a better picture. I think that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching and thanks again to Skillshare for partnering up with me for this video. Um, I'm excited to upload more later on, so definitely subscribe if you want. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys!